Happy Friday, 29 September 2023. I was filming this in the city of Shoreline, King County, Washington State, United States of America, Plant Earth Original. It is clear, but the sun is on its way up. Okay. Um, but the sun. And the sun is on its way up. And this video is on my take on the Kyle Chalmers 100 meter freestyle 80. 44.84 seconds on 29 October 2021. So those of you who've been writing, writing, following me for a while now, and my writing and publishing on Wikipedia when I was doing that, um, I, this is one that I wrote and published about at the time, publicly for the world to see. And I mentioned it later in a YouTube video as being a highlight of my writing, or like the highlight of my writing for 2021. At least in regards to like sport and competition coverage. And so I decided I should do another athletic performance contextualization um, following kind of the tone of the Jacob Ingebrigtsen. Um, 1500 meters, 3 minutes, 28.32 seconds from 7 August 2021. So it's from the same year, 2021. And the 100 meter freestyle I'm talking about for Kyle Chalmers here is at the 2021 FINA Swimming World Cup stop held at the Kazan Aquatics Palace in Kazan, Russia. And he swam a time of 44.84 seconds in the final of the 100 meter freestyle on Friday, 29 October 2021. And so I wrote and published about it when it happened. So there's some contextualization provide my my perspective my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it um in terms of my life so it was uh 2021 i was writing and publishing a lot about aquatic sports on wikipedia and this is one that i covered at the time i was covering each stop of the world cup and so it was a uh, he swam really fast time, stopped before this, and then he swam really fast at this one. It is, but like, it wasn't, it was like, what, the second, no, third fastest time behind the French guy and Vladimir Morozov, their, their times, Audrey Lameau, or what, no, that's the Canadian artistic swimmer, sorry, okay, there's a French guy, whose name I cannot remember, uh, Laveau, and Lameau, <laughs> Lamoth, 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 and Laveau. Okay, and, um, or is that a French physicist? I don't know. Okay, so he, it was like third fastest or something, and then he got the first fastest, which is really good. And if you think about it, like to have like the four, of the four fastest performances when one breaks a world record, like for the first time, to have two of the four be yours is like, good job, Kyle Chalmers. Um, is it? But I, uh, so I actually wrote about it in this very room. And I had my stuff set up and I had my papers in a stack and I wrote about it and I watched the interviews and before the session started, I think this is one of the, one of the few swimming competitions I actually woke up, woke up early for. And I actually, I made sure, this sounds so stupid, I went pee before the final session. And if there was a pause, I would go pee again or and or make sure I had everything all set up so I could write about it. Because I, me writing about it is not synonymous with me getting me the one of the publisher about it. For, fortunately, I was there and nobody else was there or people were there and I beat him to it. And I got it on the page on his Wikipedia article that he, he set the world record and stuff. And I might have even got to update one of the like list pages for records and I was like yes because it was a world record a world cup record oceanian record and australian record and I think I got one of those which was like <sighs> it's like a writing progress and speed kind of thing and then I watched and he was okay this okay so that's a bit about the contextualization in my life and, um well that and, and the other part of the contextualization contextual context Textualization is also my perspective slash take on a swim. So he was, he has the most beautiful flutter kick I have ever seen. That's why I call him mythological Mercury man. His Mercury was a god with wings on his feet. And so I, Kyle Chalmers has such a beautiful kick. 
I don't know, like the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. And I competed for 12 years. Okay, 12 seasons. Um, so like, and I've watched swimming for over 20 years now. <laughs> and like, so, um, yeah, yeah, his perfect little feeties. And then he was, ah, uh, he just like stole my heart in, in like a good way. It was, uh, he did this stroke where he breathed every other stroke and I have asthma and I have had, I can only breathe on like my, my left side in swimming. If I'm like breathe on my white, right side, it's like a fish out of water. Fortunately, I was a breaststroker, but for distance freestyle, I would, you know, breathe every other stroke and it would drive my coaches crazy. And he breathed every other stroke and I was just like, <sighs> where was this man earlier in my life like what an inspiration he's like me he doesn't have to breathe on both sides which sounds like to some people so stupid but to me right like i got a lot of flack for that and like to see somebody at the highest level the fastest person in the world in the 100 meter freestyle do that it was a kind of a oh inspiring and so there's a little bit of my take on it it was pers perspective on his performance. If we include the interviews after, I find him a very attractive man. Yes. I am a woman. Yes. I, I even wore my football jersey because he's Australian rules football and I got my number three Leonardo. Um, because I'm like, that's the closest thing I have to an Australian rules football jersey is my custom NFL jerseys. So I went with the Seattle Seahawks. Um, and so my Seattle Seahawks custom jersey that I bought for like 150 bucks um, back in like 2019. And so, and got in 2019. He, in one of his interviews, he said he read the news when he set the world record. And I wrote and published on Wikipedia and I was like, did he see me? Am I the new, like did my writing count as the news? Um, which would like make make me cry if that were true. Um, yeah, if if it was if it is true, you know, kind of thing. Um, and then so th there was that it was like I I did my writing and publishing, but can you imagine like my per my person, the person I was writing about, not only saw and read what I wrote, but actually brought it up in an interview. I was like, whoa, that's that's really cool. Um. And then, so there's a little bit, the swim, the interviews, and then kind of what I did at the time. The site of his world record, so the Kazan Aquatics Palace in Kazan, Russia, is a place I would like to visit before I die. And you know what, Kyle Chalmers, if you're watching this, I like you. And if you like me, maybe you could come with me and it could be like our, if, if, if you really like me, you could, maybe it could be like our first date. And we could go and we could do something like... Uh, set is like I started working when I was 14 years old and I started working in aquatics um as a cleaner and and I worked in aquatics for like calendrically almost six years and multiple pools and stuff like that is like a swim coach swim instructor cleaner that kind of stuff um lifeguard <laughs> lifeguard the, a big one kind of a big okay and um, it seems impossible, but like maybe his children, so his lizards could come with us and my children, the squirrels could come with us and that's very not hygienic. So maybe Russia could find a way to put them on the pool deck and we could go together and he could do like a recreation swim and have like the squirrels in a little pen, my children, and they'd be watching and be going with their tails, go Papa, we want him to be our Papa. And then the lizards might be going like, if they really want me, maybe they're like, we want our mama, we want our mama. <laughs> and so there's like the lizards and, and the squirrels. And if he really, really likes me and he proposes, I would say yes. And my only concerns there are like, maybe there needs to be a lifeguard tube at the end of his lane when he swims, Kyle, because what if a chicory runs and jumps into the pool? <laughs> It just starts, this little red, North American red squirrel just starts sinking towards the bottom. Like, will Kyle see him? Like, what if, or her? Like, what if Kyle goes to do a flip turn and there's just this little red squirrel slowly sinking in the pool? Like, is he gonna get it? 
Is there a little lifeguard too? Is it a mama? And then six more little red squirrels jumping in after him. And Kyle has to save all seven and put them on our lifeguard tube to rescue them. I don't know. I'm, I have concerns like that. In, a in addition to, we didn't allow pets on that pool deck, right? Kind of thing where I worked. Unless they were like service animals. So I, it seems impossible. Like just straight up not possible. That something like what I just described could happen. It'd be a really cool first date though. Would it? Would it? Yeah, I don't, okay. Anyway, point being, it got creative juices flowing too. Like, I want to go there. I want to see the side of his world record. Um, kind of thing. I was not there in person at the time. Yeah, kind of thing. Maybe I wanted to be. But, yeah, so, very cool. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a, it, it was a inspirational swim performance. And it was also my riding highlight for 2021. So there's a little bit on mm, my take. Um, the Kyle Chalmers 100 meter freestyle 44.84 seconds on 29 October 2021.